I'm Shireen from MyPainCenter.com. Today we're going to review a really cool product that I found. It's called Infused Edibles Chocolate Chip Cookies with 400 milligrams of CBD. Guys, there's 400 milligrams of CBD in this bag. How cool is that? For those of you who don't know a lot about CBD, that's a lot of CBD to be in this bag, okay? Now the really cool thing about this is there's no THC. It's a completely isolate CBD, which means if you get drug tested at work, this is the product for you. Now, a really other cool thing about this is that you don't need any ingredients to make these cookies. Everything you need is in this bag. All you need is water, a stick to mix the water, a bowl to mix the water and cookie dough in, and an oven. Now, if you can see, we've already started preheating the oven. You need to preheat the oven at 350 degrees, and you do need a non-stick cooking pan. With that, let's get started. You guys ready? And for those of you who are wondering what are the ingredients, how is this already pre-made, let me just read them out to you. There's CBD, which is the first ingredient, which is great because that means the whole thing is mostly CBD, which is amazing. Then there's chocolate chips, there's wheat flour, there's barley flour, there's iron, there's folic acid, there's sugar, palm olive, brown sugar, baking soda, dried eggs, salt, soy flour, and wheat. And that's all you need. Oh, and they say that these cookies taste really good with vanilla ice cream on top while they're warm. So, we will try that too. Okay, you guys ready now? For real, for real? Let's go. You don't even need scissors, guys. The bag just opens by itself. Oh, it smells like chocolate chip cookie, guys. Mmm, I could just eat it straight from the bag. Wow, and look at the size of these chocolate chips, guys. These are huge. Look at that. These are really big chocolate chips, right? Hmm, not bad. <laughs> what, I have to taste the chocolate chips to make sure they taste okay. We might want to add our own chocolate chips, you never know. So you can see, here's the texture of the chocolate chip cookies. It really smells really good, guys. I wish you could smell it. Okay, so now all you have to do is add three tablespoons of water, which I've already poured out, so I'm just going to pour the three tablespoons of water into here, just like that, and then we just stir it. The recommended serving size of this packet is six cookies, and each cookie would have about 67 milligrams of CBD in it, um, but you can actually add flour to this, or not flour, you can actually add dough, um, so you can add your own dough to this and cut the CBD um, in half if you want, or even more. So. Um, we're not going to add dough today because I want us to try them without adding any extra ingredients. So now you can see we've mixed it all up. The color has changed, the texture has changed, it's a little bit more gooey, it's like actual cookie dough now. So now we're just going to take this and we're going to make 12 lumps of cookies. Now the package, like I said, says 6 cookies, but we're going to try to make 12 because we're going to try to cut the CBD um, so the cookies are not as strong. So instead of 67 milligrams of cookie, we're going to make them 33.5 milligrams of cookie, which is still more than the CBD I take at night to go to sleep. So, let us do this. Okay. It says that you should just take a spoon and plop them onto the baking sheet. And then I'm guessing they'll expand once we cook them. Guys, this is actually my first time ever making cookies. Don't laugh at me, I've never had to make cookies before. Just buy them at the store. <laughs> My videographer is actually Googling whether these have to be smooth and in perfect circles or if the way I've done them is fine. So we will let you guys know what is the exact rule when making cookies. Okay, so the videographer has come back saying that this is okay. You do not need perfect circles and they don't have to be smooth because I'm guessing when they heat up they'll flatten out and... Yeah. Ta-da! Okay. So instead of making 12, we ended up with 15 little cookies. Um, so we'll just divide that into 400. So really how you would do the math is however many number of cookies you make, you just do 400 divided by the number of cookies. So we made 15 cookies, so we'll do 400 divided by 15. I will get back to you with that answer after we make the cookies. I need my calculator. <laughs> what is that, like 15, 30, take down... 
<laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> we'll be back. So I'm just gonna put these in the oven now. <laughs> So we're gonna put these in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. You need to watch them. As soon as they start to brown, we'll take them out. Okay guys, they're ready. Ooh, it's so warm in here. I'm getting ice. Okay, Guys, I'm really afraid of touching hot stuff. This is why I don't cook. Ta da! I have to put them down. It's hot, 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 hot. So these are our infused edibles chocolate chip cookies, 400 milligrams of CBD. So, like I said, we were supposed to make a serving size of six. We made 15 cookies, so there's 400 milligrams of CBD on this tray, split out by 15 cookies. So each cookie has, I did the math guys, I think it was 23, 27. <laughs> so each cookie on this tray has 27 milligrams of CBD guys, 27. The average gummy bear, average CBD gummy bear has 10 milligrams. So this is almost three times a gummy bear, okay? So it's a pretty good deal. I mean, it's a pretty good chunk of CBD in one cookie. So we're gonna let these cool for a couple minutes and then we are going to go to town. And then I'm going to tell you how I feel. Unless I fall asleep, then you're out of luck. <laughs> okay, so we took the cookies out of the oven. We've been letting them cool for a few minutes to make sure that we didn't burn ourselves. And so now I'm gonna try a cookie. Um, they said you could put ice cream on top, but I'm gonna try the cookie without the ice cream so I can really tell you what the cookie tastes like. So here we go. Ooh, it's nice and soft. It smells really good. It's actually like a half and half cookie. It's crunchy, but it's soft. They taste like Sara Lee cookies. I like them, they're sweet. You can taste the chocolate chips in them. You don't taste the CBD at all. Like if you gave me these cookies, like you said, Shereen have this cookie, I would just think it's from Publix, which is our local grocery store here in Florida. I wouldn't even think that there was CBD in here, which is perfect. You can give them to your kids and let them fall asleep. Shh. Okay, I'm just joking. Please don't give them to your kids. Just stick with the Benadryl like my mom did. <laughs> okay, I give these cookies a five out of five. I like the texture, I like the taste, I like the fact that there are chocolate chips in it, you can taste them. And I definitely like that you cannot taste the CBD in these. Um, because I have tried edibles where you can taste the CBD, and it's gross. So I definitely give these a 5 out of 5. I would get these again. And there you have it, I'm Shireen with My Pain Center.